let's go ahead and learn how we can train an open AI assistant on any type of data that we would want to find on the internet. To showcase this, we're going to be using Oculus proxies. When leveraging Oculus proxies, we're going to turn that website data into LLM ready data. That's going to allow us to train these open AI assistants. Sound good? Let's jump in. Welcome back y'all. Today's video is sponsored by Oculus proxies. Now, some of y'all might be like, Corbin, what even is a proxy? Here's what's super cool about proxies and more specifically Oculus proxy, which is probably the most cost effective proxy in the market right now, is it gives us the ability to grab data from any website. Any website, Corbin? Any website. Now, some popular examples of this is Stack Overflow, Reddit, Discord, everything like that. With Oculus proxy, we can go ahead and scrape the data from any website. So let's go and leverage that. In today's video, we'll be training our OpenAI assistant on Amazon listings of backpacks. We're gonna go ahead and create three different files to train from, such as backpack, backpack for men, backpack for travel. The workflow and the method I go about doing this, you can apply to any context, any website, and train your OpenAI assistant on. Let's go ahead and get going here. You can click the link down in the description down below to get started for free on Oculus Proxies. Let's go ahead and try for free. Once you created your account and you're good to go, come up here to your little profile here and save my proxies. Now, the specific type of proxy we're going to use in today's video is going to be the ISP. All you need to do simply is hit add proxies, ISP, and proceed. Once you have it, hit configure. Now, for obvious reasons, some of this is going to be blurred out just because of the fact that this will be my IP. All we need to do, though, is simply hit detect my IP. Once you do that, it will show up right there in that little box. I know all you see is gray. I know all you see is gray, okay? But that's my IP. Once we have that, though... We're gonna hit add. Once we added it, it will show up right here. And all we have to do is hit save and generate, click. With that added, let's go ahead and add a Chrome extension here that's gonna allow us to activate this proxy. Coming over to the Google Chrome store, simply type in BP proxy switcher, add to Chrome. With that added, come up here to copy proxies. We're gonna come up here to our Chrome extension here. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and click edit and go ahead and paste the proxy list that we just copied. Once you hit okay, what you'll notice is now we have the ability to switch to our proxy. Step one done. Let's go ahead and enable this proxy that's gonna allow us to scrape our data that we found here on Amazon. To enable the proxy, all we do is come over to proxy and hit proxy.oculusproxy.com. And we're gonna go. We are live. We are currently using a proxy. Let's go ahead and get that data from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and go to every single one of these Amazon pages and copy the link and paste it over. Let's hit enter. We are getting data. Perfect, so we got the result for the first file here. This is for the search query of backpack. Once we get a result here, it's very important that we download the JSON version. This is what's going to allow us to train our OpenAI assistant. So simply hit download results JSON. I'm going to go ahead and name every single result that I get the specific search query. So this first file here, I'm going to name backpack. The second file, I'll name backpack for men. And then the third file will be backpack for travel. Link number two, we are getting the data with that proxy. Download results for number two. And let's go to get it for our last file here. Run. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we still download the JSON response here, but just for context, basically what's incurring here is that we're getting all the data found on that Amazon page, the images, the text, the copy, et cetera. Download the result. Here we go. So we got all the relevant data that we scraped using Oculus Proxy here. Let's go to begin by creating our assistant. For you, you're gonna simply hit create assistant. For me, I've already named it. So we're gonna go with Amazon Expert. Let's do Amazon Backpack Expert. And let's start off here by just choosing the most competent model as of now, which will do GPT-40. And then here is going to be the file search. This is where we're going to upload the data that we just got. So we're going to enable this. Let's go ahead and add our files here. Add file. First one I'm adding is going to be the backpack.json, backpack search query. Second one I'm adding is going to be backpack for men. And the third data set we're adding is going to be backpack for travel. All good. Hit attach. With this attached, we're going to have OpenAI index it so we can actually read the data using OpenAI. And what you'll notice is that this all comes together here to one nice little vector file of our relevant information that we took from Amazon. Knowing all this, we have the data attached now. We're going to add some instructions here. You are an Amazon expert. Let's say context. Let's go ahead and expand this. So let me show you the real power of using assistance trained on data here. So we're going to say context. You're an Amazon expert based on the product data provided from Amazon. I'll put the best performing keywords for backpacks, optimal product titles, patterns, notices with the products, pricing average, outliers, relevant links to Amazon pages for more context. So we're throwing it all out there. We want to see as much as we can at these data sets. This can obviously be applied to any context though, right? You scrape a Reddit page, Stack Overflow, whatever it may be, you can really train these assistant models on this data for very specific types of answers. With that done though, I can back out and proceed here. I'm gonna go ahead and say, give me your analysis based on the data we provided. Run. Here we go, y'all. So based off the three data sets that we trained it on, here are our answers. 
and it's still going here. <laughs> so the first answer here is best performing keywords for backpacks, travel backpack, water resistant, expandable laptop backpack, lightweight school bag. I mean, this, this makes sense here. USB charging port, weekend trips. Next, we get optimal titles from that data set. Classical travel backpacks for school, water resistant book bag, lightweight college laptop backpack for men and women with USB charging port, vintage backpack travel laptop backpack with USB charging port for women and men. Next, we got some in-depth analysis here of patterns noticed. Sustainability certifications, functional features, comfort considerations, and gender neutral designs. Diving into one, USB charging, water resistance, and expandable compartments are frequently highlighted features. Next, pricing averages. So I took all that data and was able to give us a range and some pricing averages. So prices range from $15 to $70, with the average price being $35. Coming down here, we got high-end prices, reaching up to $200 in some cases. And then the other outlier on the other end would be the budget-friendly version of this, which would be $15. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this give us actual links found in the data set of good optimal backpack listings. But while it does that, let me show you something cool here. What you'll notice is that some of these outputs have specific one, two, three, four, five, seven. And what these represent is where it actually got that data from. So for example, if we wanna know where number two came from, if I come up here and we talk about sustainability certification, where's that coming from? What are you talking about? We come down here to number two, Oh, it's from the data set for backpack for travel.json. I mean, this is going all the way here. I mean, this is still generating y'all. So on top of that, relevant links to Amazon pages for more context, this is where it got some of its information from. So if I click one, it will take me to the specific page that it grabbed the underlying data from. So for this example, we got a classic basic travel backpack. There we go. Start grabbing data from anywhere on the internet using Oculus proxies right away in your workflows. Start training OpenAI assistant models with it. If you feel like you learned something today, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'll make sure to leave a link down below for Oculus proxy, and I'll see you in the next video. These videos are based off the clicks and the way you've been engaging with YouTube. The top one doesn't look that bad. I kind of like the top one. I'll see you in the next video.